Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Miami. We're here at our normal test spot, uh, Gate Delta 26, here at Miami International Airport. Just wanted to do a follow-up video on the DLSS update video that I did. Um, I did not expect the volume of viewership or comments um, to that video, uh, and it actually was, re it's really been interesting because it, uh, I've, I've gotten a lot of really uh, productive comments of people that kind of understand different aspects of it um, and explained it to other people in the comments in ways that I thought would be useful for everybody else to see and to hear. Um, and I also learned uh, a couple of things about uh, the, the, the update process, the SIM update process, and how that affects the LSS, uh, as well as addressing an issue that a lot of people have, which is not being able to find the file in order to update it. Um, so uh, I guess the first thing I wanted to do is talk a little bit about DLSS because um, I've, I've learned quite a bit about it in the, in the past week, and a lot of people were kind of skeptical that this would work and why should it work, um, and there's a very easy answer to that. So my, the company that I work for, we use uh, AI for uh, specific tasks that we do, uh, and we use them for the same task across various subject matters, let me put it that way. Um, I can't be any more really specific than that, um, but we do the same task using different subjects, but it's all the same process. So uh, it's com it's comparable, apples to apples. So the way AI works with what we do is that there are certain subject matters that we use AI for on a daily basis. Uh, and we've been using AI, AI in its totality for about two years now. Um, and for the, for, the, for the subject matters that we use it on every day, it has improved leaps and bounds over what we got when we started. There are other subjects that we don't use it for very often because we don't have a lot of work in those areas. And, uh, it, you know, it has shown, you know, much, much less improvement in those areas. The way AI improves is through usage through usage and feeding the data back into the into the ai system and so dlss is deep learning super sampling now the deep learning part of dlss is ai and so when i uh first checked my dlss file to see which one i had I, if i remember correctly it was from 2021 and this was a week ago so um and there have been probably a dozen updates of the DLSS file, or t probably 20 updates of the DLSS file since the one I was using. Now, uh, over the course of that time, every time they were, so, so what happens is they got, you know, uh, they gather the data, NVIDIA, or NVIDIA gathers the data um, and feeds it back into the, to their deep learning system, their AI system, and that system improves, and once it gets to a certain you know level beyond with beyond the current iteration of DLSS, they release a new version, and it's better than the last version. You know, so these are like incremental improvements over the course of time. So um, it makes perfect sense that the DLSS file from October 2023 is a whole lot better than the DLSS file from you know, June of 2021 or whatever mine was. Now, um, it affects a bunch of different things. It's not only frame rates, uh, although frame rates is, you know, it's the, the, eye, the, the eye candy, right? It's the stuff that, we, you know, a lot of people are really interested in. Um, but it also improves things like uh, ghosting and shimmering. Um, you know, and in, in the other video, I did this, you know, little gig where we sit here and play with this and you can see, you know, kind of the ghosting of the numbers. Um, and the thing that I'm really interested in myself, or one of the things that I'm really interested in myself, is the shimmering of kind of the edges of, of buildings and, and, you know, any any kind of straight edge, right? The shimmering bugs me. And 
DLSS improves it greatly over TAA. Um, and so that those are kind of a couple of things that um, that I find important, uh, along with with uh, with frame rates, um, but also like the ghosting of you know vehicles moving around the airports and so on and so forth has been improved um, quite significantly in the various like for example um, where are they oops these guys here if you look at an older DLSS version you're going to see ghosting behind these guys as they walk around and now it's just a shadow so um, I've updated mine so I can't like go back and show you a, a you know previous version but um, that's one of the things that that it improves along with frame rate so it's not just frame rates it's all kinds of things um, that improve and so it makes perfect sense that over the course of time it gets better so um, now let's talk about like the actual updating well actually you know what L let me tell you about one other thing so I'm in sim update 14 the beta right uh, today is Saturday December 2nd there was a, a beta release a new beta release last night 135.21 and um, a curious thing happened so obviously a week ago when I did this video I updated my uh, my DLSS file to the, late, to the latest one which is one uh, 3.5.1 and when I went to do a version of this video earlier today um, I looked and the version was version 2.4.1.12 so it, it had rolled back the update that I did so this is a very very important point when you get a sim update you are going to have to go back in and at least check uh, which version you have and see if it needs to be updated again because uh, this the, the sim updates ship so to speak with whatever DLSS version that Microsoft or Sobo send along with it um, and I'll, I'll show you once we get to uh, the next the, the next thing I'm going to show you you'll see that it's very very easy to check and it's very very easy to update so for everybody who was having a difficult time updating the file you couldn't find it you know or it was in the Windows apps folder um, I've recorded like four versions of this video so if I'm, I'm repeating myself please forgive me if you have uh, if you find a version of the DLSS file in your Windows apps folder do not hack your way into that folder and try to change that file there's a reason why they make it difficult to get into your Windows apps folder it's because if you screw up your Windows apps folder you can screw up Windows don't do it I'll show you a much easier way to do it um, so this is a program called DLSS swapper what do you suppose it does I will put the link in the description uh, I'm also like uh, old and so I don't <laughs> github kind of confuses me like you come here and you're like okay well there's all this stuff like well, what is it you know and uh, like I just want to get the file and get out of town right so on this page right here v1.0.2 that's where you want to click you click there you get to this page you come down here to the DLS swapper 1.0.2 installer exe file click on that download it install it etc you guys are capable of doing that and when you run the program this is what you're going to get now this is fantastic um, so it's gonna list all of the games that you have when you open when you open the program this is just what this is the the paid the, pay, the splash page and this is your DLSS version right so you're going to be able to check very easily which one you have. And you might have different ones for different games. I don't know. All I have is Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you want to update it, you click here on Library and look at this. This is V1. This is V3.5.1. These are all the different versions in between. My understanding is that to an extent, it's sort of like 
NVIDIA drivers where sometimes one might work better for you than works better for somebody else, et cetera, et cetera, right? And, and, and uh, so to update it, all you do, you just click on the download link, right? And when you click on the download link, it'll download it. And then it turns into this sideways arrow. This then it says export. I don't know what export is for. Don't really care. Um, so I would just recommend clicking on obviously the latest version, three point five point one. Download it. You'll have that. You know, it'll show that side arrow. Then you come back here to this page, and you click on the version number. Click right there, and then it's going to show you this list. And all the ones that you have downloaded, they're not going to have anything next to them. If it's got a little download arrow, that means you have to download it. So these are the different ones that I've downloaded to test. I've, I downloaded a bunch of them today just to see what performance I got with different ones. Um, so all you have to do is download the file, click on it, see it's highlighted. Click on the old swap button right here, and it swaps the DLSS version for you. That's it. Done. It's that simple. Uh, so this is a fantastic tool. Very, very easy to use. And uh, and that will help you update the file. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I was really grateful for the comments and the feedback. I, if If one person had gotten something useful out of that video like gotten you know a better version of the dlss to help them i would have been happy about that if 10 people you know had success with it i would have been happy about that um the the there are hundreds of people that have have had various degrees of improvement uh and that just absolutely thrills me um very grateful the comments that you guys leave uh, not only on stuff that I've said, but on, you know, to, in response to others and questions that you may have, um, please put the comments in the, in the comment section, answer if you know the answer, um, because that's what's helped me learn in order to be able to make this video to share that with more people, because digging through the comments is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And, um, there were, you know, a couple common issues that, uh, that hopefully will have resolved here. And uh, in the meantime, very grateful for you guys to watch, and uh, I wish you guys the best, and we'll talk soon.